So, DP DP Photography here, bringing another video, and today, you know, I got my V8S out here, coming to do a little bit of practice. Um, I decided to come on Government Road, which is right behind the airport, which might not work out that great for the simple fact, um, you know, got jets and stuff going overhead, but it is a secluded road, a lot less traffic back here, so I don't have to worry about cars always coming, you know. That's one thing that I had to worry about a lot in front of my house, so, you know, I would only ride for a short while. Um, got a nice little loop here that I'm gonna be going around in a circle, and maybe I'll practice on doing some turning around because uh, that's where I'm having my most difficulty at. Um, I'm at the point where I can ride a straight line. You know, that's not a problem at all. Uh, getting on the thing and getting correct foot placement is still something that I'm working on, but to turn around is where I'm having my most difficulty. Um, it feels as if when I do go to turn around, it dips a little bit, and maybe that's because I'm slowing down when I need to actually be uh, giving it not as little speed. I might need a little more speed going into those turns, but that's what I'm doing today. That's why I came out here on Government Road. And another thing I wanted to say, you know, thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who watches my videos. Uh, you know, I'm about 36 hours away from being fully monetized, which I more than likely could have been hit. Uh, I don't drop videos as often as I, as I usually do. Um, but I haven't been riding either, you know, so I haven't been cheating you guys on anything. Uh, I'm bringing you my whole experience. Yeah, it's been about a week since I've actually gotten on the unicycle. And I don't know why that is, you know, for some reason I just haven't been feeling up to it. Uh, but I know the more that you ride, the more uh, experience you get and the better you will be, the more comfortable you'll be. That being said, you know, I'm about to get at it and uh, you guys just stay tuned. Let me know what you think. I got a little glass back here. Now, one thing I can say is that I already feel a lot different. You know, when I first got on this thing, I would get speed wobbles, or not even speed wobbles, because I'd be going slow and I would get wobbles for no reason. And now, you know, for some odd reason, I'm not getting those wobbles anymore. Definitely feels a lot better. And I can turn. Shit, I can turn. Just can't turn around that good. I don't feel so great turning around. As soon as I come back here, cars are gonna come back here. Ah. And I can turn, yeah. But it's the turning around that has me kinda stuck. I can do the little spin thingy, you know, to control the wheel with my my leg, here we go. problem is, is trying to turn around, you know, do a quick circle. Yeah, that, that's hard for me right there. And I'm going left, but something that I've never really done. Almost bust my behind just now. <laughs> it's, <laughs>
And I'm guessing that this is some pretty good practice for me um, because it's stuff that I've never done before, man. Like, yeah. Let's go. Man. This is some really good practice for me, to be honest. And I don't want to get too overconfident. That's for sure. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Still get like the little wobbles. Not as bad. All right, now when I do, now I'm gonna turn around. Try to turn around, it's always sketch for me. That was a lot better than every other time that I turned around, turning left. Hey, super sketch. But I did it. I just did it. Just turned right again. And it wasn't as bad as the first time. Yeah, I'm guessing every time that I do it, I'll get a little better. Whoa. Super sketch. Let's do a turn around. I'm just thankful that I haven't eaten it. Whoa. All right, I almost lost it. <laughs> yeah, I almost lost it just then. But I didn't, you know? And I'm prepared to fall. And that's why I like, you know, I like practicing by my house, man. In case I fall and do break a bone, which I've broken bones before, you know, I'm able to go ahead and get to the hospital um, the easiest route, you know? But uh, you ain't gonna learn too much like right there in your comfort zone. You gotta get outside of your comfort zone. And that's what I'm trying to do, you know? Like, uh -huh. I'm really starting to enjoy this, man. I see how people say that this is the funnest thing that they do. Now I wouldn't say that it's gonna take over from one wheel in front of me, but I'm pretty sure that I'll continue on doing both. It. Yeah, I lost it. But I didn't I didn't hit the ground. That's one thing. You know. And I guess that's what the V8S is for. For banging up. You know, I put all these pads and stuff on it, so now if something, whenever I drop it, you know it doesn't take as much damage. And it seems like when I do drop it, it gets a little more tendency to drop. There we go. But I'm getting there. I'm definitely, definitely getting there. Um, I feel like I got a lot more today than I've gotten any day, you know, just riding up and down my block, you know? I don't feel like I get a lot of experience like that. Um, out here, well, you know, I got a few turns and 
more space, less cars. I'm actually able to do some things that get me out of that comfort zone, which is where the learning really happens. But uh, when I do drop the wheel, like I just dropped it, it makes me feel like um, I'm just not there yet, you know? I wanna get to the point that I see, you know, all the other guys driving at, you know? Where they're able to like look so smooth on it and bend the knees and the hips and, you know, I get, you know, it's only, I'm not, I'm not that far into my journey. Um, I know it's gonna take a lot more practice, but hey, I'm here, I'm willing to put in the work, man, and let's just keep going for a little while longer. You know? One thing I will say is even when I do just drop the wheel, it still hurts my body and my legs. I really want to know what what is it that I do wrong when I make that drop you know if it's if it's just like me not trusting the wheel because when I trust the wheel the wheel it, it doesn't seem to let me down much you know it's like even when it feels sketch and I'm taking those turns you know as long as I try to like recover it usually like I usually don't have a problem I usually am able to pick it up but I don't know. Let's just keep going. And I can't tell you how good it feels, man, to actually be getting somewhere with this EUC. Even though it's not my links, you know, at least I'm able to ride, you know, and maybe after a month or so on this, you know, three weeks to a month, I'll be able to jump on the links and actually take it down the road and, you know, get to learn that a little bit because, man, I cannot wait till I'm able to push that beast. Now, I'm not doing serious carbs, but I'm definitely doing a little bit of carving. And I'm getting better with turning and turning around. And I'm starting to understand that you need some constant speed to actually do anything. Like to make these turns, you know, whereas the natural instinct is to slow down when you're approaching something, you want to keep some speed going through that turn, if that makes sense. Like that. But I need to get better at doing tighter turns. See, and I'm slowing down and it almost cost me, but see how I recovered? I was able to recover right there. Like this, I trust in the wheel, you know? Not saying that I can't bust my ass, you know, or bust my hip up, but I love it, man. I love it. I'm glad that I got, you know, from in front of my house. Doing a lot, lot better than what I was doing. They make me happy. They make you make me happy. Yeah. One thing I need to do next time I come out here is make sure that I have on my Liat hip pads, my butt pads, because I feel like if I do fall and I do hit my elbow, the other contact point is probably going to be my hip. I put them on every single time for some reason. I don't know why. Woo! Woo! But yeah, I mean, that's it for the day, man. That's all I wanted to do, a little something. I don't know if I'm looking down or not, so maybe that's something that I need to pay attention to. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna take a couple more laps around just to see if I'm uh, looking down or if I'm looking where I wanna go. Cause that seems to be a problem that I have. 
And I did end up looking down, I see, you know, it's something that I do uh, subconsciously. I think it's just my natural reaction as to I'm trying to get my foot adjusted right on the pedal and I want to see where I actually place it. Uh, but then, you know, I'm, as soon as I'm off and going, I'm looking forward, I'm looking where I want to go at and I think I'm doing the right thing. And I'm loosening up my knees, just trying some different things, you know? Just trying some different stuff. Keep speed, do a quick circle. Keep speed, do a quick circle. Keep speed, circling, circling. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm not looking down at the wheel because that's what people tell me the most. Don't look down at the wheel. They say, hey, you know, you're looking down at the wheel. Um, you, you didn't, you, you must have not watched 101 EUC Basics. I'm like, yeah, everybody told me. The, the one and only Zoda. And if you don't know who Zoda is, go look her up on Instagram at diet underscore Zoda. One of the best EUC riders, period, that I know. This girl can juggle all lit up with one leg in the air <laughs> on an EUC. One of these days, I'm gonna be coming through doing my Zoda impression. One leg up. She's the bomb. But everybody's told me, you know, don't look down, you know, don't look down. I'm definitely not. I feel it if I look down, and that's gonna be problems, man. <laughs> I can feel that. I'm looking where I wanna go. Next thing I guess I need to start doing is doing a little bit of carving, but uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for the day, man. Let's do it one more time. And I keep saying I'm done for the day, and I keep going for one more ride because I just wanna get in you know, a good amount of practice, you know, before I stop for the day. And I need to do this every day just so I can make sure that I'm getting that much better and I'm getting where I want to go. I've definitely learned some things in a day. Always great when you actually don't bust your ass, man. And yeah, that's definitely a goal of mine. So I got that under control, man. Keep some speed, keep some speed, keep going. I'm doing good, man. I'm feeling good, I'm doing good. You know, that's gonna be it for the day, man. Um, you already know, you know, DP Photography. Any advice that you guys got for me, drop it down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, man. And man, I'm almost at 4,000 watch hours, 36 hours away. Uh, this video should put me over the top, you know? And that's all thanks to you guys, man. So thank you everyone who watches my videos, man. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, all my subscribers. Even if you're not subscribed, just thank you for getting to this point. And yeah, DP Photography, also known as The Real Bird, I'm out. Might as well ride it to the car, right? Or might I get hurt riding it to the car? See that? Trust it. Trust it. Trust the EUC. It's gonna feel sketch. Oh, starting the car below.